Hey everyone, it's Della here, obviously, and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be focusing on Imogen's family, because in the last two parts we've been focusing on Lux and Nico, and then you adopted daughter Dakota. But in this part, I want to come back to Imogen and Lux, um, I was about to say, and Lux, Imogen and Orange, because they are engaged also, but they're going to be having a pretty big wedding soon. So I feel like we need to get on that wedding planning. So let's get into it, get a cup of tea, relax, enjoy, unwind, and let's get into it. Cheers. All right, so it's a Monday morning here in Imogen's mansion, and we have just encouraged little Tinkerbell, who now has a brand new little outfit, um, to mate with Critter. I just thought, you know what? We got a boy and a girl dog deliberately so that they would mate. Where is Critter? Is she on her way to, to be with Critter? Are they gonna make some little puppy babies? I've never had puppies before on The Sims 4, so I really, really, really want it to happen. And I did actually move Amanda out of their house, Amanda the nanny, because I wanted to make room for a litter of puppies. So, <gasps> oh my gosh. Are they kissing each other? Oh, that is so cute. Oh, how do how do we know if she's if she's preggers? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at her with her little tongue. Oh. He's a big boy too. Do you think that was okay for her? She's such a little lady. She looks pretty happy with herself though. I feel like she she looks like she had a good time. <laughs> Wow, okay, uh, let's maybe get to know her a little bit more. I feel like we're meant to be decent friends with our pet before you can actually mate them. I mean, we are friends though, so it's okay. And I don't think the kids can mate them, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe we'll give her a little hug and be like, thank you, Tinkerbell, for mating. We hope that you have some beautiful little puppies. Pamper on couch, let's just give her a little hug. And of course, a treat. I feel like a treat goes a long way. We should also ask her what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong with her at the moment. Uh, let's see, where are we? Encouraged to mate with, Tinkerbell is recently just mated. Wait a day to see if they were successful. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh, she needs to go pee pee. Well, she knows how to go outside. Also drama club has started. Oh, it's not even Monday morning, it's Monday afternoon. <gasps> Picture with Tinkerbell. Oh wow, that is, that's like me when I, when I take pictures sometimes. <laughs> or when you guys send me screenshots on Twitter, it's always my half blinking eye because I half blink if you like pause the video or something. I do it all the time. Oh, I love this. I love her little outfit. I feel like Imogen likes the dog more than <laughs> her dog likes her. Anyway, so because we're getting married soon, I was actually thinking that it'd be a great time to get Imogen to go have a hens type of party with some of her ladies. Uh, we have started our squad as well since becoming a global superstar. I feel like Tinkerbell knows to go outside to go potty. Do we really have to take her out every time? Uh, ask about school as well. So we're going to go away soon. So I'm going to give the kids a hug. Uh, and you know, she's gonna tell them she loves them very much and also ask each of them how school was because she's probably realized that Amanda was getting closer to the kids than she was. And maybe she's a little bit, maybe she's a little bit uncomfortable about that. And Cosmo is already off to his drama club. Look at him in his little drama outfit. Isn't this cute? <laughs> It reminds me of High School Musical, uh, Charmé and her brother. So he's off to drama club. I feel like Star is not going to miss drama club. So she can go off and Orange is at work. I did actually enroll um, Orange into doing more of the workout career. I just feel like he wasn't really doing anything and I felt bad for the guy. So he's now working out a bit, doing the workout career, uh, getting into a bit of personal training and so he has something else to do with his life. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do is get Imogen to get dressed up to go away because we're gonna have a hen's party in Del Sol, not Del Sol Valley, in, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of the jungle place. Eh, no, let's do greens and turquoises. Uh, rose lips, coral lips, satin pink lips. Let's do green eyes and satin pink lips. Oh. Oh my gosh, Del Selva, Selvadada, Sel, Selvadorada, Selvadorada. 
I was like, what's it called again? Yeah, so the girls are going to go to Selva Dorada and they're going to have a bit of a girls couple of days going crazy, partying. They're going to invite her squad and they all have matching outfits. I did give them really funny outfits because I thought they would probably all live in the same area in the gated community and maybe they're all on the board for the gated community. So they now all have like matching pink business shirts with white pants and then they also... I gave some of them lip injections. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm terrible. Um, let's see, let's do cowboy uh, costumes. And they also have workout outfits that are all matching because the idea was that they go and work out together sometimes, which is kind of nice. So there we go. Okay, how did your makeup go, Imogen? Oh, she's still, she's still going. Because we want her to get ready. She's got to look the part for her new island getaway. Oh, that's very... um. Very bright. <laughs> so let's see, uh, let's change her outfit. No, 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 let's plan outfits. I'm thinking a nice maxi dress with a big floppy hat will do. And maybe the paparazzi will, will follow them to Selva Dorada. I don't know, we'll see. So this is the, um, the members of the board outfit, their coral shirts. So this is what all the ladies wear when they're together. And then there's also this outfit. This is like their pink lady workout attire, but I'm gonna give her more of a jungly look. I think just like a really nice maxi dress. I mean, she could go with this little over the top matching outfit, but I feel like she'd suit something a little more flowy. Okay, so I was going to go for something more like long and flowy, but I actually think that she looks really over the top in this little teeny weeny jumpsuit with her big sunnies and red hat and she's bright red. You know, she loves being center of attention. So I think this is going to be her outfit for the trip. Now, I know the makeup we just put on doesn't really go with the outfit, but... It's okay. She'll probably like wipe off the makeup when she gets there or something like that. Also, I just realized my face cam is really, really over the top white right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. It is ghost deli. Okay, so here she is in her wonderful outfit. Can you strut over here for us? Oh, very, very nice Imogen. Oh, the kids are back from drama club. Well, what I think I might do is quickly uh, go away. You know how when you're just leaving the house and then everyone comes home and you're like, oh no, I need to leave. You know how it's just kind of annoying. Like everyone comes over just as when you're leaving. Do you get what I mean? I don't know if I made any sense right then, but basically what I'm trying to say is we wanna, we wanna get moving. We wanna go on our holiday. Uh, I've forgotten who our squad people are. I think the they're, they're these girls, Judith is, oh my gosh, what is Judith wearing? Like Judith has been having the most, I don't know, she's just a hot mess these days. <laughs> oh, what? We can't invite as many as we thought I could. Okay, uh, we'll invite Sarah. That should do. I'm just a little bit worried that we're gonna miss having the baby, like the baby puppies. I'm scared. I don't know, I hope we don't miss anything. I'm just gonna check. Oh, I don't think it even worked because you can encourage to mate with now. Maybe it's gonna take a little while. Anyway, so, oh, I didn't mean to bring the kids. Oh, oh no, sweeties, you can't come with us. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, the kids can't come with us. Okay, I didn't think we even selected them to come with us. Let me try this again. Masami, Elisa, you're invited. Judith is invited. Sarah is invited. Uh, Sarah can't be invited. Why isn't it working? I mean, someone's not gonna make the cut. I guess we can just invite Sarah later. Who, who are we better friends with? Oh, Sarah, we're not even as good of friends with, okay. So we're only, oh my gosh, that's, I wanna invite more friends. We'll just have to invite them when we're there. It'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to this grand resort here in Selva Dorada. I don't know why the kids are with us. That's super annoying, but we're just gonna send them home anyway. It's cheap as, it's only a thousand simoleons a night, which is obviously very expensive. But they're gonna have a great time. It's the ladies, they're gonna go crazy, leaving the kids at home, they're gonna have, drinking, karaoke. I don't understand why the kids are here. Go home. Go home, buddy. Send home. Goodbye. And you're going home too, Missy. It's like the kids just wanted to come with us and we're like, no. Oh girl, what are you wearing? I did give them all makeovers. I don't know why they're not, I don't understand. Okay, now we wanna invite a couple of extras to the vacation too. Why is the dog here? 
So this is the awesome creation someone made on the gallery. I'll link it in the description down below because I think this is a lot that everyone should have in their game if they have jungle adventures. It's just so pretty. I did make a couple of minor changes to a few colorways and I also added um, several beds that wasn't already in here. I've added a few double beds. Uh, I think there was only three beds and now there's four beds. So I'm gonna claim this one because of course Imogen gets the best one. She's like, hi girls. Judith is looking very nice. I'm wondering, can we actually summon our squad while we're away so everyone dresses like us? I'm not sure. I don't, I think we go to actions to summon squad. Oh, we can. So all the girls are gonna suddenly dress like us. What is your problem, Missy? Because when they dress like us, everyone looks better. <laughs> Imogen summoned her squad. They'll arrive soon if they're free to meet up. Oh my gosh, was she just thinking about Luxon? Girl, I mean, they're friends now. There's nothing more. Oh, look, what? Since when is Lux part of the squad? Is that a joke? I feel like he would do this as a joke for one of his vlogs. I just, uh, hug fan. I'm confused. I. I don't think I ever added him to our squad. Did I add to squad? He's not even part of our squad. He's just here randomly. Oh, maybe he just wanted to wish us a happy hens night and they don't even like each other. So what was the point of that? That is so weird. And look at all the girls in their matching hens party outfits. Judith looks amazing. I love it. Okay, well, I guess what we should do is have a burger, everyone. Everyone grab a serving together. I want to turn on some music. There's karaoke in here. So let's turn on to, I don't know, maybe these girls like hip hop. Uh, and then I'm also going to change the volume to high. We want these girls to have a good night tonight. It's just, it's just a beautiful evening. You know, you can hear the Animals chirping, the pool looks so good. I wanna go away on this holiday. <gasps> Dior is here! Oh my gosh, is Dior an elder now? Shut the front door. I forgot Dior is part of our squad. It's a shame he doesn't get into the outfit too though. <laughs> uh, and also Cosmo's gonna age up soon. Everyone's aging up except for us. Why are we taking so long to age up? I, I'm confused. Everyone's aging up. Oh my gosh, no! They're all aging up much too quickly. We're gonna have to age down Dior, I think. Uh, complain about rebate day. She should be like, I don't understand why people bother getting their money back. Like, why don't they just be rich like me? <laughs> Something like that. So they can just have a conversation. How's she feeling? Her hygiene's down. Now I always forget, if you go into the spa or the pool, does your hygiene go up? Let's go skinny dipping together. Actually, no. First of all, Imogen's gonna go over to the bar. She's gonna hire a mixologist for all the girls. Uh, oh, and Dior is romantic. That's beautiful. So there's a bartender coming around who's gonna make a whole heap of drinks. Look at Judith. I feel like Judith would never get her hands dirty. I also gave her a little bit of a facelift and dyed her hair. You know, I just felt like hashtag necessary. <laughs> I like how Cosmo's here. I wish it was Tinkerbell instead of Cosmo though. I'm, I feel so weird that Lux is here. I'm just gonna ask him to leave. It's just kind of inappropriate. I don't know. I know he's probably trying to be nice, but Lux, what? Are you having a midlife crisis or something? Cause it's just not okay. <laughs> There's also a bar over here and I think that's where the mixologist has gone. So I'm gonna order a bunch of uh, drinks from him. I'm a little bit unhappy that he's wearing his clothes. Let's <laughs> order a drink and I'm gonna say, let's get a hot and smoky. And then I also want him to make some Actually, you know what? Can we cheat this a little bit? If we modify him and create a sim, do you reckon he's gonna like be a topless bartender? It is the hens party after all. I don't think he will be because he doesn't even have the bartending outfit available here. I mean, we can always try. Hopefully it doesn't switch to his household though. Cause sometimes when you go into create a sim on another sim, it'll switch to their household and then it goes crazy. Oh, it didn't work. I wanted him to wear his, his um, undiewares. <laughs> Did we get our drink? Excuse me. Uh, she would definitely click, I think, even though that's really, really rude. 
Okay, order our favorite drink. Thank you. And uh, order drink for, let's get Judith a drink. Oh my gosh, is one of them doing a face mask? Is that what I just saw? <gasps> we can go in the sauna too. We're all gonna hop in the spa together as well. I swear I just saw one of the girls in a face mask. Oh, a couple of them are already going to bed. Are you serious? It's only 10 p.m., ladies. I didn't pay for this expensive hen's night for you guys to go to bed, okay? <laughs> oh, well, she can have, what, her favorite drink is this? I thought she would have got something at least with a little umbrella, you know? Okay, let's see. I think he's making one for Judith now. Are we drinking it? Oh, we're gonna drink it right now. Uh, we definitely need some fun though. Look at this, our fun's not so good. We're not having that much fun. Okay, drink up, little princess. What is this? What did I just eat from eating fruitcake? Oh, oh dear, she's so picky. She's such a snob, but we love Imogen. Oh my gosh, and she is feeling a little bit dazed from the drinks she has had. Okay, I'm gonna get her to order drinks for all of her friends who are awake. Like, she just has to. She wants them all to have a much bigger night than they are having right now. They're having a little D floor time. Bam. Bam, bam. Oh my gosh, Imogen's dancing by herself, you guys. This is not fair. They're meant to be celebrating with her. Like, this is the worst. I guess she could have a sauna. I guess she's having fun. Why isn't she? Oh no. Oh yeah, she could sing a country duet. I was just gonna try and do it with Judith, but it's okay. Judith, uh, Judith is old news. She wants a friend who's a little bit younger. So Sarah, she's gonna do this duet with. Oh, she's even wearing the hoop earrings too. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes, ladies. <laughs> oh, wow. This, this is how I would sing if I was doing karaoke. <laughs> Oh, they're so, so in tune. <laughs> yes, and I love the electronica in the background. She does sound like she's drunk singing for sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Del Slish. <laughs> they sound like they've had much too much to drink and they're just singing terrible karaoke. I love it there. Well done, ladies. Well done. Well done. <laughs> She's having another sneaky drinky, whatever her favorite drink is right here. And soon she's gonna get all the girls to go skinny dipping with her on the spa. This, this is a hot mess, this outfit. Like I, I don't think I've seen a worse outfit. So let's get all the girls to skinny dip. What, there's no one else to skinny dip with? Well, we'll, we'll jump in there anyway. Oh no, you guys, I just realized because the spa is in the ground, they actually can't get into it and I can't access build mode, which is really frustrating. So that you can't actually use. I was pumped for that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> They've got both the karaoke and the electronic music still going. Oh well, maybe we'll, uh, I, I actually think she's quite tired, so we might, we might go sleep in bed. Oh, look who came to visit, Orange. How come Orange is here? Just sneaking his way into our girls only trip. So sneaky. Okay, so it is the morning and the party continues. The girls are all going skinny dipping for the hens party, which is, you know, just a little bit of fun. They had a big night last night, so they've got to cool off in the pool today and relax and enjoy themselves. And oh, Judith. Judith has taken it off. And uh, this chick, she's like, I've had enough now, <laughs> ladies. But look at them, crazy, crazy hens, ladies. Wow, these, those two were a little bit too close for my liking. <laughs> Gotta love the skinny dipping life. Have you guys ever been skinny dipping before? I, I, I actually have uh, a couple of times with my friends who are girls, never with guys, but yeah, with girls I have it. It was, it was a bit of fun, but then one time a boat went past us and we we're all like, oh my gosh. 
I'm now gonna go relax in the sauna. And what is this try for baby? Imagine this too sad. Oh, from brushes with frame quirk. She's with some famous people. Judith Ward is super famous. Do, does she want Judith to come in and relax maybe? Perhaps that's what she wants. And uh, does she still have a little bit of interest in Judith? Wow, they're still really, really good best friends. Oh, Judith looking fabulous. Finally, the, the girls are dressing as they should be. Maybe Imogen's like, I don't know if I'm ready to get married. It means I'm saying goodbye to the single life. Can relax together. Oh, this is so like bougie. <laughs> Banter with old friends. Uh, oh, actually, I don't think, does it? Wait, where did Judith go? Judith, come back. Are they just gonna chat in here together? I want them to have steam room bougie chats and DMs together. <laughs> Okay, maybe she can talk. No, Judith, come back. There we go. Oh gosh, Imogen is so stinky. <laughs> Ask about a day. And she can talk about the fact that sometimes she worries she's not ready for marriage and that she's, she's concerned about it, that maybe she should be looking for a place for her own and the kids. Judith is like, are you crazy? Orange is famous, sweetie. You got with him for his family money and it was one of the best decisions you ever made. Sweetie, it lifted your relevance all the way. <laughs> She's like, just relax, enjoy. You can always get a divorce later and you'll hopefully make some money out of him. She's like, um, my goodness, babe, go have a shower. You stink. <laughs> Hope you're not like that around the kids. Okay, what I'm thinking is maybe she should summon the squad again. And actually, no, 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 not in, not in this outfit. I think what we'll do is maybe summon the squad in their workout outfit and they can go for a bit of a walk to the center area, the town center and check it out. Maybe get some cocktails over there and just enjoy the rest of the girls trip. <gasps> I love this song. I don't know what's, I think it's just a sim song, but I've heard it so many times on Spotify. I, I feel like it's a banger. <laughs> anyway, let's summon the squad. Oh, that's a lovely dress that the other girl is wearing, but we don't want her to look better than us on our uh, hens party. Oh, sorry, I love how she invited Emily Goodwin, the nanny, but she doesn't, it feels like she doesn't spend as much time with her as the other girl. Cause she's like, she used to work for me. Anyway, she's like, girls get into your active wear. Oh, she looks so good. Okay, maybe we'll get to know her a bit more. And let's go to the town center and uh, have a good time. We'll go to the bar maybe, perhaps. Okay, ladies, why are you not in your squad outfit? I am really not happy about this. <laughs> What? I, they all changed out of their special uniform that we created. Oh, now they're all dressed like weirdos. Oh gosh, she's like passing out. She's like, I, I'm so tired from last night. <laughs> but I feel like they'd be like, Imogen, come on. Okay, we're just gonna put her in, in her special outfit. I love all of these, by the way. I think that looks so pretty around the tree. Okay, what have we got over here? We've got, uh, oh, I thought there'd be some nice things we could take home to add to the shelf, but it looks like there's just some dolls and things like that. So what we might do is go straight to the bar. Who is this guy, Emmett? Oh, maybe she, she should go for a little bit of a flirty introduction, even though it's a bit naughty just because she's at a hen's party. Hopefully her husband is nowhere in sight. Oh, Judith working the paparazzi. The paparazzi has found us on our getaway. Looks like the girls are already chatting up Emmett. Judith would probably encourage Imogen to be a bit naughty as well. <laughs> oh, and look who this is, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Okay, Imogen, oh no, she looks so exhausted. She'd probably want to flirt with him more after she's had a cocktail perhaps, but she's like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's actually a sim one of you guys created. You could probably search him on the gallery as Emmett Milton and it'll come up. Oh, she's level eight of the charisma skill. And how high did that push up? Oh, that didn't even, oh, Emmett's married? <gasps> Emmett's married to Alyssa? Is Alyssa our friend? <gasps> Alyssa is our friend. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, we're gonna order a drink for the group. We're all going to have sea splashes with the girls. 
And uh, we're going to sweet talk him a little bit more. Ooh, she's so naughty. Oh, what? She she didn't like him, but she does like him. It's like she's playing really hard to get or something. We might also fish for a few compliments from him. Look, all the girls having cocktails. I love that the paparazzi's here following her out every mood. Oh, I can't believe this. She's flirting with her best friend's husband. It's so dodgy. And he's, it looks like he's kind of going for it, I think. I don't know if we should maybe ask him to go somewhere more private or if we keep it safe. I just feel like it's so bad to flirt with him right in front of his spouse, but maybe she doesn't care. Maybe she's, she doesn't really care about her friends that much. So she'll just do whatever she likes. Oh my gosh. How is it that he's not pulling away? <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't believe he's just, they're just going for it. Like anything I press, I feel like they're just flirting away. No one cares. She is a little bit dazed now. So the juice is getting to her a little bit. He's just, he doesn't care that his wife's here. He doesn't care that it's his wife's like good friends. I think just because she's such a celebrity, he's just like, oh my gosh, Imogen Ray is talking to me. And this lady is like, oh my gosh, did you see who is here? Let's exchange numbers. Oh, he's like swooning over of us. Oh, enjoy the drinks at a discounted price. Are they all just watching Imogen bop around to the music? <laughs> oh, where's Emmett going? We need to follow him. Okay, I'm gonna do something really crazy. I'm going to kick his spouse out of the vacation to invite him. So she's gonna make up some lame excuse that her friend is ruining the trip for some reason and that she needs to go home because she's no longer welcome because secretly Imogen just wants to hook up with her husband. So she's gonna send home her friends, which is so mean. Poor Alyssa, and they're actually really quite close friends. It's probably her closest friend other than Judith. This will end Alyssa's vacation. Yup, that's what she wants to do. And she's gonna invite Emmett to join the vacation. Oh my gosh, this is just, this is just crazy. She just wants to have a bit of fun. Like I think she loves Orange very much, but she's like, it's my honeymoon. I just wanna, Kiss a cute boy. It's my last, it's my last night of freedom. And it, it is very dodgy, but she, she just, she wants him. She wants what she wants and she just goes for it. And he's going for it too. It's not like he's being loyal to his wife at all. So these guys are having a little private moment right now. Oh, he's going in the pool. Oh, no. What is happening? These guys are just going to have a little moment in private. <gasps> Oh my gosh, crazy, crazy hens party. Kissing her boyfriends, her friends, boyfriends, husband, actually, she's crazy. But I love it. I love, I love the, uh, I love the tea. And they're gonna have a little bit of a woohoo just to finish it off. And of course, Orange won't know a thing. Oh, I hope Orange doesn't know. No, he doesn't know a thing. Judith probably encourages it. Her friends probably encourage it too because they're probably not the nicest of friends. And um, her poor friend Alyssa, like, I don't know what's going to happen with her. I think it's horrible. But, you know, you got to be careful if you want to be friends with Imogen. Oh my gosh, his shorts. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to finish off this part right here. I Oh, wow, that, that was a different... Wow, <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. You guys enjoyed this part right here. And uh, I know some of you guys will be very angry at Imogen, but I like a saucy plot and she loves Orange very much. She just lives a very strange life of fame and just getting and doing whatever she wants. So I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you soon. So soon.